Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your third week of December reading start from the 15th through the 21st of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. Um, I've already pulled out the cards to save time. So I have pulled out different oracle cards in this reading. No charms will be added. Um, and then we have tarot. So I'm going to start the reading with the tarot first. So yeah, let's see what is coming up for the Leos for the third week time starting tomorrow. Before I dive into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating. Leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And um, um, before I start the reading, uh, maybe uh, you will see me pausing the video in between. Uh, especially if I feel the need to cough because I have sore throat. So maybe you might see me sipping some water plus pausing the video as well so yeah um let's dive into the reading let's find out what is coming up for the leos for this week time so let's start with the tarot first let's see king of cups queen of swords and the sun I do see you, um, the energies could be reversed for some of you, but I do see a love offer being made to a person who is uh, having their back towards that person. Um, a love offer is definitely being made, um, whether to you or you are making a love offer to a person. But whoever it is that you are, you know, if, if I say this is you, if I say that the King of Cups is you, then I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you are making your love offer to, um, this person is not going to readily accept it. Why? Because uh, either they have been into a uh, rough, um, you know, um, rough phase in, in their love life. Maybe they are not readily accepting any offer right now. Maybe they, they, they want to see actions more than words. Uh, they want to feel the feelings more than, you know, being... Uh, uh, said a lot around like you know feelings and emotions and then there is nothing when it comes to actions and stuff so i feel like you know whoever it is uh that's given the offer whoever is on the receiving end of the offer this person is not readily accepting this offer i don't see that there is any issue with the person who is offering the cup of love but it's more of that energy where you you are reluctant to readily accept it now, for some of you, this person could be a past person. Maybe that's the reason why you're not ready to accept the love offer coming from that person. For others of you, it could be a new person. But yes, because of your past experiences, you don't want to give a chance to any person who um, who might seem so charming. But when it comes to actions, who is you know they are not proving it much. But I feel like you know somebody is really gonna try hard to to win win the heart here of the person. Um, because I do see the, the, the energy around this connection. It's going to be more of a time when, you know, somebody is chasing someone. Um, and the other person is going to enjoy that feeling. And I feel like, you know, this, this, this could be you. This could be uh, the person that you are dealing with. Maybe you are the one offering a cup of love to the other person. And the other person is basically enjoying being the center of attention here. And now, uh, for some of you, maybe you are being offered the cup of love. From a specific someone in your life and maybe this person is somebody who has been keeping an eye on you this person could be somebody from the past as well but yes i do see that um for majority of you maybe it's you um but yeah the the receiver is not happily receiving they are happy but they are not like you know they, they want to enjoy this phase of you know being chased is what i'm picking up so whoever it is you owe them but somebody's really enjoying that attention they are getting let's see the clarifiers Let's see what the clarifier has to add to the reading. But the energy of the connection is very lively, fun, happy. Um, even if this person is saying no, 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 no to the offer, to the love, um, they are deep down, they are enjoying it. So it can be you. It can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Let's see what else do we have. This person is somebody from the past. Maybe that's the reason why you're reluctant to accept the offer. You felt like, you know, it's over and you don't want to give them a second chance because they treated you so bad. So maybe maybe it's their turn to, to come forward, to offer love, to give love, um, to, to treat you uh, like a princess or a prince. 
Because this time you really want things to be balanced. You don't want this person to take you for granted. You are going to give them your love if and only this person is keeping this connection uh, balanced, keeping this connection mutual, um, ready to nurture this connection mutually with uh, mutual love, care, attention. So I feel like, you know, this person is definitely receiving the love offer. They know they, they are worth it. So they are just going to make sure that this person is never going to uh, take them for granted now. It can be again you, it can be the person that you are dealing with as well. So, but yes, this is going to be a very good week for this person because this person is really going to enjoy it. Uh, the attention and the love coming from this person. And I feel like, you know, obviously there is strong love between the king and queen of cups here. But yes, somebody is wearing a false self mask. They are not going to uh, let this person get them so easy. So they have to basically earn this person. All the effort being done by this person here to, to make this person say yes to them, yes to them, yes to them. They are going to do anything and everything. Uh, you know, this person is madly in love with this person now. Maybe they have been, you know, showing the same love to this person in the past. But yes, for majority of you, I feel like it's a past person. If it's a new person, then it's going to be somebody um, who has, you know, interest in you for quite some time. But I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, this is a past person. Yep, somebody you walked away from or who pushed you away. So this is somebody from the past who you are reuniting with. Somebody is coming back from the past and that to, to, to win your heart. So, yep, let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading. I'm going to start with this card here. This person already knows that they are coming back. The angels have been telling them through messages. If you are uh, on the receiving end of dreams, uh, messages coming from this person, where you see this person over and over again, then it's you on the receiving end. If the cross watcher has been, you know, seeing the Leo in, in the dream, it's, it's going to be them reaching out to the other person. So, uh, but yes, they, they know that it's time for them to reach out. So yeah, time will test your worthiness. Ask your higher self about what you truly seek. This is known, for, uh, this immortal Devi is known for her boundless love, strength, purity, and loyalty. You will enjoy emotional fulfillment with a loved one. Your life is on a roll now and is full, full of excitement. Success will soon be yours and work will be accomplished. A romantic interlude must be taken seriously. Your current partner is the one for you in this life. You will need greater reserves of strength and tolerance as doubt and suspicion could surround you. You are being guided to be true to yourself. Your belief and confidence will help you gain respect and support. I feel like, you know, the feminine energy in this connection is going to be the one on the receiving end. Because they are now realizing, their, they have realized their worth and they are standing tall for what they want. Um, you are being guided to Okay, sorry, we have read that. So meditate on heart chakra with indigo colored light. Use an amethyst clear, uh, amethyst crystal for healing and increasing your ability to concentrate. Ask yourself about what you truly seek again. So I feel like, you know, the, the feminine energy in this connection is going to be on the receiving end of a love offer coming from the masculine for sure. Let's see which two colors are going to be lucky for you uh, this week time. Red, free yourself from pain, number two. Um, I feel like, you know, there has been a past which was very painful. But this time, it's all going to be fun and, you know, filled with lots of love. Red color is going to be lucky for you. Uh, you can also light some uh, pink candle. Because red is like, you know, this, this is saying for you to let go of the pain. So the pink candle would help you let love in. Letting go of the pain and letting love in would help you attract abundance and love. So silver, uh, number 27, be persistent. This person is going to be persistent. I feel like you know, it can be, for some of you, maybe it's a Leo who is pursuing a person that they left in the, in, in the past. Um, I don't think that you know there has been a long gap between the two of you uh, since you, you parted ways. But uh, for some of you, maybe it could be that. But I feel like you know it's not that kind of a... Um, situation 
you, you have you know been apart from each other for quite some time i don't think that it's going to be that kind of a thing for for majority of you you might have left communication or stopped talking to each other maybe um a few months back maybe maximum a few months back but it could be different for different people as well so let's see the other card act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you will always consider them now if you are on the receiving end start expecting your person to reach out to you and try to win your heart like you know just start making the visual in your mind about it and act as if they have already reached you out they have already you know giving a lot of attention to you they are earning the love that you always you know um always kind of you know give given to them for uh, for doing nothing in this connection so i feel like you know it's, it's going to be very helpful if you act as if the partner is already here and they are valuing you a lot right now so if you start visualizing that by the time you reach the end of this week time your person would be already back in your life they would already be offering you the cup of love they would already be um you know uh sharing their heart out to you plus they would be valuing you and trying to earn the love that they once lost let's see arrow surround yourself with protective energy don't let your mind uh, chatter distract you you have to be very clear right now lord take charge with authority it's it's your it's, it's your time to shine you are going to um take charge of the situation and do anything and everything that requires to fix the connection gifts from god we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive it it's time for the uh, for for the leo to receive the gifts of god um it can be for cross watcher as well whoever is on the receiving end the feminine is the uh, is on the receiving end for majority of you maybe for 90% of you it's going to be feminine on the receiving end as this card also uh, pictures um a lady uh, god here so emotions are running high you both are on the same page um but at the same time somebody needs to take the anger out and they are doing so by holding themselves back and not giving into this connection easily expect powerful change this week is going to be very powerful for you for sure when it comes to this connection uh that ended and now it's a reunion happening between the two of you so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonated with you do like share and subscribe and if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that and if you are willing to um purchase any of the affirmations or any of the uh, you know manifestation techniques you can also check out the description box for the details on that as well so yeah till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye